If you're looking for a fast and affordable Bluetooth keyboard that can be paired with multiple devices, check out the Logitech Pebble 2 K380S wireless Bluetooth keyboard. This keyboard is designed for both Windows and Mac computers. It has all the buttons labeled exactly how you need them where it'll work on both types of computers. It also works great with tablets, iPads, really anything that uses a Bluetooth connection. Logitech gives you three easy switch pairing buttons at the top on F1, 2, and 3 so you can quickly change what the device is connected to. To set up Bluetooth pairing mode, all you have to do is press and hold one of those buttons for just a second, and then the light starts blinking, showing you that it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. Once you have it paired to multiple devices, to change whatever it's connected to, all you have to do is press one of those easy switch buttons, and it'll quickly change from one device to the next. The Pebble 2 has fast circular keys. I find it's really comfortable to type on, although you have to be a little careful not to let your fingers slide off the circular keys. The action on it is very fast, and honestly, it's almost a little bit too loose for my liking. I like keyboards that have a slightly more tactile feel than this, just a little bit better. I do really like the layout of the keyboard. It feels good going from my laptop to the K380S and I find that all the keys are within easy reach. It does have half-size arrow keys and half-size function keys, and the function keys don't match what your Apple keyboards do, so if you're used to using a Mac computer, you might need to get into Logi Options Plus to customize what the buttons do. But that's one of the great features about this keyboard is that you can download the Logi Options Plus app, and you can customize all the different function buttons except for F1, 2, and F3, which is kind of a little con of some of these Logitech keyboards that you can't customize the F1, 2, and 3 buttons because on Mac computers that usually adjusts screen brightness, but not so on this keyboard. The volume on the Pebble 2 keyboard is pretty quiet. It has those scissor style switches and so it's smooth to type on without making too much noise. I really like the size of this keyboard because it's small and lightweight, so it's really good for travel or stuffing away in a backpack. It also has an off-on switch on the side, and it uses two AAA batteries. You're able to get about 36 months of battery life out of this keyboard. Now, one big con of the Pebble keys, there's no built-in backlight to the keyboard, and there's no battery recharging. You have to use AAA batteries. The Pebble 2 keys goes great with the Pebble 2 mouse. They match perfectly, and there's several different colors available, including black, white, graphite, and rose, and sometimes there's other colors available as well, so be sure to check the links in the description below to find all the different colors of this keyboard and mouse. The Pebble Keys 2 retails for $40, and it's upgraded over the original with better battery life and with quieter keys. This is a really good keyboard for the money, especially with those easy switch buttons that allows you to change what device it's paired to, and with all the customization that you find in the more expensive Logitech keyboards. I think the biggest things this is missing is a slightly more tactile feel that the MX Keys Mini has, as well as just having the USB recharging. Another thing I do find about it, it feels a little bit lower quality than the MX Keys Mini, but for the price, you really can't complain too much. If you're someone who types all day long, you might wanna upgrade and buy the MX Keys Mini, but if you're just looking for a great wireless keyboard setup that allows you to change from one device to the other, then I think that the Pebble Keys is a great option for you. If you're interested in buying it, I have links in the description below. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.